Today I'm going to answer the question, what is CSS? Hi, I'm Ryan Hayden. I'm one of the founders of Build Online. We plan, design, and build custom software and custom apps for businesses and entrepreneurs. I'm on a mission to help business people understand the world of software development, and I make these videos every week. In my last video, which I'll link in the description, I explained what HTML is. HTML gives structure to your site, and it tells a web browser what a piece of content is. In this video, I want to explain another important tool for the web, CSS. Now, CSS and HTML, they're like peanut butter and jelly. They're like Barnum and Bailey. They're like money and taxes. You almost never find one without the other. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It marks up text. And CSS, it's a little bit less of a mouthful, it stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Now, the most important part of the term is style sheets. If HTML tells a web browser what a piece of content is, CSS tells a web browser how a piece of content should look. If we didn't have CSS, Facebook would look like this. And the Wall Street Journal, well, it would look like this. Now, you could use both of those sites without CSS, but boy, is it ugly. If HTML is like the studs of a house, CSS gives your house a paint job and carpet and furniture and decorations. So how does it work? Well, just like HTML, the main concept behind CSS is really simple. A piece of CSS code has two basic parts. It has a selector and a declaration. The selector tells the browser what part of the HTML page you are targeting. For instance, if you wanted to target every paragraph on the page, you would simply use this selector, just a P. And if you wanted to target every paragraph with the class of red, you would use this selector, simply P dot red. And if you wanted to grab all of the links inside a paragraph with the class of red, you could use this selector, P dot red space A. So after your selector, you put opening and closing braces like this. And then inside of these curly braces, you put declarations. Each declaration declares a property, and then you have a colon, and then you give that property a value, and you end with a semicolon, like this. Color, colon, red, semicolon. And you can have as many declarations as you want. Now that is the basics of CSS. It's very easy to understand, but in practice, it takes a long time to learn because there's lots of properties and lots of values and rules for how they interact on the page, but it's a lot of fun. There's one more basic thing to understand about CSS, and that is the C part of CSS. It's not just style sheets, it's cascading style sheets, and that cascading part is important. What it means is that any part of your website can have multiple CSS rules that apply to it, and that there is a set cascade for how those rules are applied. Now, I'm not gonna get into it, but what this means is that when two pieces of CSS conflict, there are set rules in place for which piece of CSS wins and actually styles the content. You know, just like HTML, CSS is a simple technology that we interact with every day of our life and most people never really think about it. Most of the content that you watch and information you read has been styled for you by some web developer using CSS. Some people even take CSS and use it to make artwork. CSS, it can be a lot of fun to learn and can be a lot of fun to play around with. So we've learned a little bit about HTML and CSS, but there's actually two more important pieces to making a functioning website, which I'm gonna explain in the next couple videos. If you're thinking about creating a software project and you feel overwhelmed by all of this tech stuff, then I've created a course just for you at softwarecrashcourse.com. It's seven free lessons where I share the best of what I've learned helping many apps get launched. Again, it's totally free. So go over to softwarecrashcourse.com today and sign up. And I'll see you in the next video.